Spikey here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install the good old MS-DOS version 6.22 together with Windows 3.11 into a Proxmox virtual machine. I couldn't find any solution for this online, so this tutorial might as well be the first. Let's go. A quick note, you can follow all steps in this video tutorial at my GitHub page. We are going to provide Proxmox with the MS-DOS 6.22 ISO file, which you can download from the following link. Navigate to a machine and choose ISO images in the menu. We are going to download that ISO file directly to Proxmox via the provided link as shown in the video. Once downloaded, we are going to create a new virtual machine. Give it a name. Select your uploaded ISO file. Be sure to select Microsoft Windows as your guest operating system. Also, choose 2000 as your version. Enable the Chemu agent for this machine. Give your machine a staggering 250 megabyte of disk space. I'm going to give Windows 3.11 one megabyte of memory. Finally click finish. Start your virtual machine. Execute the following command to create a new primary partition. Choose one for create MS-DOS partition or logical MS-DOS drive. Again, one for create primary MS-DOS partition. Finish with a yes to use the maximum disk size for this partition. Before we're going to reboot MS-DOS, we are going to change the boot order in which this machine will start. Go to options and select boot order. Be sure to drag the CD-ROM with the ISO file to the first place. Now stop the machine. And start it again. Once MS-DOS has been rebooted, execute the following commands. First we are going to format the C drive. Next, we are going to create a new directory called MS-DOS. After that, we are going to copy all necessary files from the A drive to the C drive. Stop the machine again. In this tutorial, I will download a Windows 3.11 zip file from the following location into my assets folder because we first need to extract the 7 zip file. I have prepared a small Docker container which has 7 zip installed inside, so I don't need to install another tool. Just run the create ISO script in the assets folder of this video. This script will spin up a container that will unpack the 7 zip file into multiple image files. Those image files will be further extracted into raw files. The last command in the script will create a bootable ISO file from the raw files. Upload the ISO file to the Proxmox machine. Mount this ISO file to the CD-ROM drive of your MS-DOS machine. Change the boot order in Proxmox before rebooting the machine. This time, set the C drive first again.
Start your virtual machine. Execute the following command to start the Windows installation procedure. Installing Windows 3.11 is pretty straightforward. Most of the time you just need to click the OK or Continue button. Follow along in the video. As you will notice, there seems to be a little discrepancy between my cursor and that of the virtual machine. This requires absolute skills. Maybe later we will take a look further into that. Almost there. At the end of the wizard, we are going to press the button to restart the computer. Every time we start MS-DOS, we can execute the win command to start Windows 3.11. That's it for this video. Maybe you did see the hidden Easter egg in this video. If so, you now know the link to a nostalgic addendum to this video. Thanks for watching. Spikey out.